poverty reduction through productive activities. Trade capacity building. Partnership with the Government of India has implemented more than 325 development projects in the country. A similar program has increased the incomes of poor artisans in some clusters in the state of Orissa. These include the traditional stone carvers in the Bhubaneswar area and the weavers of Barpali. Even these women now earn more. They stay stitching them with fine sticks and selling them to village level traders. These stitched leaves pass through a chain of traders and are finally pressed into plates and bowls. Another separate initiative has been the Cane and Bamboo Technology Center. Located in Guwahati, this institution has been conducting training programs, developing new products. All these initiatives have helped generate employment and increase rural incomes. All in all, the cluster development approach has helped to strengthen as many as 22 MSME clusters. Located in the western part of India is Pune, a city with an expanding automobile component cluster. Consisting the cluster has long felt the need to enhance its global competitiveness. There is a sea change in all these units, apart from improving employee motivation. And what is special is that all improvements are being articulated through participatory institutions like quality circles, small groups and safety committees. The program has had a dramatic impact on quality and productivity. For instance, in this enterprise, apart from Pune, this program is being implemented in similar auto components clusters in Chennai, Jamshedpur, Indore and Bangalore. All these clusters are now responding better to the needs of the demanding automobile manufacturing companies. Chanderi, a small town in North India. Cell output, 40% of exports, employing 60 million people, creating 1.3 million jobs every year and produce more to the evolution of an egg bone of the local economy. This is the core of the cluster development approach which the Unido India Partnership Program initiated a few years ago. Weavers have now formed their own groups. This has allowed them to organize training programs for their members, upgrade their design vocabulary, and successfully execute orders for well-established retail outlets. Let us now take a look at the intricate process of silk weaving art which would give us an insight as to why these saris have become so famous throughout the world.